thing? The whole temple reeks! I find it hard to believe that one item in this entire location of junk is solely making the temple stink. I'm sure there's plenty of things in Amethyst's room that would combine to make a smell as bad as they describe. Why do they blame it solely on that one thing? Also, considering that burrito has tuna that's at least five years old in it, why is it only just starting to stink now? If it did stink before, then considering how bad they're making it out to be, they sure didn't think to do anything about it until right now for some reason. After Pearl puts the portrait down in this shot, after a couple shots, either the portrait disappears or the group just moves out of nowhere. How old are you guys? Have the gems not told Steven this either? They are very selective with the info they give this kid, worryingly so. I don't know why they drew Pearl crossing her arms like that, but she looks like she's gonna get carpal tunnel. We don't really celebrate birthdays. Why not? It's not our way. Well, I can't just ignore this travesty of injustice. Oh, yay. Another episode where Steven forces his way of thinking onto other people until they get annoyed with him. Yippee. So apparently a bazillion years to Steven is, like, 18, considering the number of candles on this cake. It might as well be your birthday. Oh yay, another dumb song that sucks. Hooray. Happy birthday! What the hell is this? No, it's funny. How? Uh, uh, uh. It looks like Steven's gem is drawn a little too high up in this shot. That is not where his belly button is supposed to be. Why did Pearl throw butter out the window? To see a butterfly! I do like pie. The fact that after it's established that Pearl hates food, one of the writers had to come up with something ridiculous like Pearl likes the process of pie to have it make any sort of sense shows how much thought was put into the writing at this point. Also, Amethyst Gem disappears in this shot. Two party hats on Amethyst. Three party hats on Amethyst. It's Kazoo Racers! You get in a car, you play a kazoo, what more could you want? I think this is why aging makes humans die. In that last shot, the yellow car was in the middle and the red car was on the left. But in this shot, the yellow car is on the right and the red car is in the middle. We're just too big. You can shapeshift. Amethyst even does it. Are you okay? I just need to think. Kazoo Racer suddenly seems undignified. I have to call bullshit on how quickly the mood shifts in this plot. Seriously, one minute Steven's just being Steven, and although it's annoying, it's at least lighthearted. Then, within a fucking finger snap, he's suddenly going through some weird existential crisis at the age of 13 and almost ages himself to death? That's some serious whiplash, and the way it transitions is so sudden that it's just sloppy. One offhanded comment made Steven's mind turn to this extreme. That's a really big stretch, considering not only his character, but also the fact that he's nice to Lars, and I'm sure Lars has said far, far worse to him. I think it would have made more sense if Steven had slowly come to this maybe I should act more my age realization over the course of the three birthdays rather than just having this all dumped on him at once. It would have made things flow way better. It's unfortunate that it feels so rushed here. You're gonna get whacked. Why did this machine wait so long for Steven to hit it? But a boy on the cusp of manhood can't spend the whole day whackering. Okay, I know some people might say I was trying too hard with those dick jokes before, but come on. You can't tell me they didn't see anything wrong with that one. Also, I'd love to see what special duck could be. Despite my comments on how rushed this whole section feels, I do have to applaud this whole scene because the writing is genuinely really good here. Everything lands just right in a way that's both funny and interesting. And you won't have little Steven to pick on anymore because I'll be a grown-up too! Steven who? Steven Quartz Universe! Sir, are, are you okay? After a comment like that, how do they still not know it's Steven? Especially since afterwards, he glows a color that's suspiciously the same color as his gem, so surely they could put two and two together at this point. Steven's nose cuts into his lip for a few frames here. Will you help me into my birthday suit? That's probably the best joke this series has had so far. In this shot, Amethyst is picking up these balloons from the ground, indicating that they had air blown into them. But then in this shot, when she lets go of them, they float into the air rather than falling, which should only make sense if they had helium in them instead. This scene is really good too, probably one of my favorites this season. Both this and the big donut scene go to show that the concept itself wasn't doomed from the start, it just needed to be built up to better. 
I'd like to point out that despite how old Steven looks here, his feet still look as young as ever. So does the magic not stretch out to his whole body? The crown is on the ground in this shot, and then disappears for the rest of the episode from the next shot onwards. <laughs> Lion is in this shot, but then after this he completely disappears. Amethyst's eyes here just are the void. You have to feel like yourself, sweet and considerate and only occasionally obnoxious. Way more than just occasionally. Do you really think I'm all those things? You're right. I am pretty great. That was a quick turnaround. Seriously, that felt like a goddamn parody of those motivational talks in fiction that help make a character feel better. Pearl's nose disappears for a bit in this shot. I need to reverse this!